To be a better goalkeeper, you must master the basics, but also get rid of the bad habits which you may have developed that cause a delay within your career. So in this video, I will tell you about all the bad goalkeeping habits you must get rid of. The first bad habit is a very common mistake which people do all the time and they may be even doing it subconsciously. That is spitting on your gloves. You think spitting on your gloves gives you more grip and well it does for a short period of time. However, spit on your gloves actually ruins your trusty gloves. Spit on your gloves will not only make your gloves permanently stink but the spit is saliva which is designed to break down foods so just imagine what that does to your gloves. Saliva would destroy your latex completely making your gloves have practically no grip anymore. As an alternative, use water to clean your gloves regularly for the best smell and grip at all times. Another bad habit with gloves is getting up on the palm of your gloves. When you get up using the palm of your hands, then the soft spongy latex receives all the damages from the floor. The latex should be protected if you want it to last longer. Imagine if you are getting up with the palm of your gloves on artificial grass. The sharp turf will slowly but surely deteriorate your gloves lifespan. Instead of getting up using the palm, get up using your fist. Backing of the gloves can take the damage, unlike the frontal area. Another negative habit which some people get into is a pat down. I understand that the pat down can be used to help the goalkeeper, have always using the pat down can be too dangerous. I saw a goal being conceded because a goalkeeper patted the ball down and it went through the legs. The pat down would generally be used for powerful shots to take the stink away from the ball instead of parrying it to the sides. However, getting into the habit of just patting the ball down for every catch is incorrect. This is because the pat down can bounce off an uneven surface or bounce off your boots or even you may pat the ball in a way that you accidentally get it through your own legs. A good habit is to get into trying to catch every shot in training and only once you drop the ball you force the pat down. How will you succeed in football if you don't try? If in training you are letting a few shots pass you then that may subconsciously translate into games costing your team goals. You must try all the time. In training, you must play to the best of your ability to be great in games. You must train like you play and play like you train. That means at a high standard all the time. Great players take warm ups and cool downs and trainings and matches seriously all the time. But average players only take matches seriously. You must play at the top all the time. Don't lean back when catching a ball, otherwise you can cause yourself many problems which lead to goals. If you lean back, then you lose all control over the ball and can drop the ball in dangerous areas. But also can let the ball through, leading to goals. Instead, lean forwards when catching the ball. Having your body weight going forwards will allow more control and stability over the catch. Catching probably 70% more footballs. For the next one is diving backwards. In some cases, the only way to save the ball is to dive backwards. However, for normal shots, if you dive backwards, you lose control of the ball. If you dive backwards and you parry the ball, you risk the parry going into the goal. Also, diving backwards makes you save less shots, as you want close the distance the ball has to travel before it reaches the goal. If you dive forwards slightly diagonally, then you are saving many shots with ease. This would decrease the ball's travel towards you, and if you were going to parry the ball, then it would go far away from the goal. But diving backwards can be useful when the ball is being looped over your head or is trickling past you. Foot saves are good for short ranges. If you're a goalkeeper who only does foot saves, then that is a big negative. You gain no control of the ball. By only clearing the ball, that just leads to giving another opponent another opportunity to score. Only making foot saves makes you equally as good as if an outfielder stepped in goal. The foot save is good for reaction saves, 1v1s and close quarter scenarios, but using them for normal saves is incorrect. Advice to get out of bad habits, force yourself to use your hands. When you take a goal kick, you wonder why isn't that ball going far? There could be many reasons, however lots of goalkeepers lean forward when kicking. Leaning forwards doesn't allow you to get the most distance on the goal kick, in fact it is the exact same thing which prevents you from achieving far and high goal kicks. When taking goal kicks, lean backwards, as that way the ball will naturally go up making your goal kick reach a further distance. 
When in a 1v1 or when scooping the ball, you do the K shape save or scoop. You must assure that the knee is pointing in the right direction. If you go down on one specific knee all the time, then that time will be good for some occasions, but not others. If you go down to the knee pointing the wrong way when scooping the ball, then you may concede lots of goals due to poor protection from the barrier and the ball will bounce off your leg if you don't catch it making your recoveries harder. Next time when scooping the ball in a 1v1, wait a second to think about what you will do. Go down with the knee pointing the same way if the ball is heading towards the same direction. If the ball is going to your right, ensure the knee is pointed to the right. Another bad habit keepers get into is claiming a cross using the wrong leg as a barrier of protection. The protective leg is up to keep you stable in case of an aerial collision and to protect you as a goalkeeper. Using the wrong leg when claiming the cross can lead you to getting hurt and lose a balance when in the air potentially conceding a goal. When claiming the cross, always ensure your protective leg is the one further away from the goal. Lastly, stop staring at the ball when it flies past you. If you try and train it, that's great. But if you try and train it and don't go for shots which are even impossible to save, then you will not get better. If the shot is way too difficult and you don't dive, then you are not testing your limits. But if you dive for shots which you know you aren't saving, then you may even surprise yourself. If there is a sweaty, just dive for the ball as you may embarrass the opponent. Even if the shot is heading to the top corner, dive. If it goes in, it goes in, but there is always a chance you may save it. If you got to this bit in the video, comment down below save and goodbye.